Yeah, and welcome, welcome, welcome to a lesson on the modes. Yeah, you just fell out of your chair, didn't you? Okay, go ahead and get up off the floor. I said the M word. That's right, the M word, modes. Are you scared? Are you terrified? Are you sweating? I'm sweating. It's because it's freaking hot in here. I'm not scared of the modes, and I'll tell you why. Because we're going to demystify them and give you the street fighting guide to playing the modes. So, what's that going to take? Well... It's a very unfamiliar concept you probably never heard me talk about here, and it's knowing how to see the cords all over the neck. <laughs> it, again, right? Some of you are like, dude, you always talk about the cords all over. I know, because it's everything, and I'll show you why right now. Okay, so learn like, if you want to learn modes, the best place to, to start and the most familiar to your ear will be learn the major scale. Learn the Mixolydian scale. Those are going to be the two major modes you probably hear and will recognize the most, right? Minor, right? So learn the minor scale and Dorian. Dorian's like Santana mode, right? It's great, great, great mode. Super cool. So learn those four. That's the best place to start. The other ones can be a little bit more... They take a little bit more time, right? So let's pick G major. Shall we, folks? Here we go. Right? Now, if I wanted to do like Mixolydian, very similar, right? So it's all just a subtle tweak. Now, what makes us able to play us? Okay, so right off the bat, learn the shapes and then just you know you realize that you're going to use the shape and then throw the idea that you're playing the modes out the window okay so you learn the shape useful right that's your map okay but then stop right there now comes the chord part okay this is where the magic happens so check it out i got the same scale we can do it down here Right now, this is where seeing the chords comes into play. The cage system for me is the best, hands down, best way to learn the chords all over the neck. And it shows you where the root, third, and fifth of each chord is, right? And so what that does is it lets you see, okay, inside those notes, those seven notes over the A chord or the G chord in this instance, these three notes are three winners out of the seven. So it's confidence. Check this out, right? So here we go. Let's take a... Uh, Let's take like a rock, you know, it could be country, it could be, you know, petty, chord progression. Here we go. Ah, let's do this. We'll go to D instead. Okay, so we've got four chords, right? We got a scale, has seven notes, we got four chords. Now, great, now you got your scale, go solo. <laughs> Doesn't work that way, okay? So what will make that work? Check this out. Here we go. So again, here's my scale. Maybe learn it this way. Gives you plenty of notes to choose from. Okay, so I'm gonna play the root of each chord and then I'm gonna add a different degree of that chord, right? I'm gonna use my scale. So these are notes that are in my scale, but I'm purposely thinking about chord tones, right? So over the G, check this out. And, I'm, and I'll just use the, the B string for the most part for this, okay? Check this out, here we go. <laughs> E minor. Here goes my D. And then my C. So my melody hitting the third, right? It's out of that same. 
But now there's a context of why I'm picking that note. It's the third of the G, right? And I can, I can use the scale, check this out, I'll use the scale to get to my next note. So we got, my next note's here. So maybe we go. I'll, I'll use some other notes out of my scale. There's my next one, right? So it's right out of this. Now I'm using the fifth, right? It was the thirds, you know, when I was using these kinds of chords, right, on the B. Now, when I switch to this other kind of shape, right, this is the E shape of our chords. Now it's actually the fifth, same note, but it's the fifth of another chord, right? So this is the fifth of the D chord now. Same thing with the C. Okay. Now, I use that same major scale. Okay, so the idea was, can I create a melody now, right? Do I know how to create melodies? Now check this out. This is a total standard blues lick. Right out of our scale, same exact scale. But now there's a context of why I chose those specific notes in the scale. Because it's the root and the third of this chord, right? <laughs> Are you seeing that? That's the freaking, it's magic. I swear to goodness. Cage system hyperimposing it into your scale, your mode shapes, is ridiculous. You will freak. You'll, like, all this time I was scared of the modes, and really? That's it? Yes, that's it. <laughs> so what I like to do with the modes is I still think pentatonic, right? Even if I know I'm playing in a G major, you know, scale or whatever, you know, the chords have to be correct to like throw in mixolydian for it to work right. But I'll still think pentatonic. Like if I'm in a G major key, I'm going to think, okay, you know, I'm going to use G major pentatonic, my blues licks. And then when I get to the chord that's really different, like an F chord, right? That's, that's not typical in a total G major progression. That would make it more of a mixolydian progression. Then I can target those notes and I'm going to get that sound, right? So... Let's go over one more time our G, E minor, D, C. Same scale. I could add like the the uh, let's see if I'm if I'm going here right over that C. That's the cool thing. That's a that's another awesome thing. Is if I thought just pentatonic, I'd, I'd only have this right. So that gives me two options right. If I'm just playing pentatonic over that C chord, but if I add the major scale right, a mode. Then it gives me that, so I can do licks like this. Because I see that one. Or... You have just learned how to solo in the modes. Let's take Mixolydian, shall we? Make sure my camera's still on. My camera's been freaking wonky lately. It's driving me crazy. Okay, we're still working. <laughs> You're like, yes, that take was magic, you son of a beep, 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 because my camera cuts off. All right, so check this out. 
I think it's my cards. I'll figure it out one of these days. Okay, so that's not your problem. Here we go, G chord. Let's go F. Love this freaking killer chord progression. Here we go. Just driving down a road somewhere, like two lane road, winds blowing, awesome, mixolydian. So, how are we gonna use it? Here we go, same idea, right? So now our scales. Right, you can carry that all the way down. If I did like the three note per string scale. So I'll do that slowly. Okay, you know where those G's are. You get those. <laughs> I'll show you this in a second. Okay, so G. Do the same thing. C. Right, back to. So I did the exact same thing, right? I played a mixolydian mode. I only have three notes. I, I, I own that mode. <laughs> Now, I would typically use the Mixolydian mode to like add some flash to some licks or something, right? So maybe I'm... Now let me go over just simple licks like that, right? So I use the pentatonic scale with that, you know, thinking of that, that F note, right, of that chord. So, I went right out of my G chord, right? And then, here's my F. So remember I said that the scale is basically, right? Here comes my C. Now if I did a, another blues lick, right? As context, it's the third of the C. That lick, right out of my G chord. That's why the, the chords is everything, because that's how you can create the melody. It's not just a scale. A scale is just a, a mode to get places. It's a map. The chord tones are the destination, right? So then I could, you know, over that G chord, maybe I would use, you know, some of that mixolydian mode. <laughs> It's a cool. And maybe I throw something like that in, you know? But it's interesting because once you think more out of the chords, you're not just pigeonholed into a scale. You can you can create more. Because like over that G, I could use a bunch of things. I could use G minor. Throw in the mixolydian. and then go right back to like G major pentatonic. Right, I'm using the mode of it. Right. That's the F right there, right? Bending right into that chord. And then you do some freaking, you know, chromatic craziness to get it over that G chord. The modes aren't scary, folks. They're awesome. Learn them for sure. But remember, at the end of the day, it's still all about the chords inside the scale. If you like this video, by all means, please share it with your friends far and wide. That, like, so awesome. Like, as a content creator, sharing the videos just 
it's just like music to my soul. Like, dude, I love this video. I shared it with like 15 of my friends. I would just be like, I love you. <laughs> I love you anyways. But over there at brettpapa.com, I really love you. If you check out brettpapa.com, funds the whole operation. Subscribe. I post all the time, so you can be notified. And over there is another video for you. You guys are amazing. I'll catch you next time.